It's Thursday, February 10th, and the talk is live. This married congressman and father of a young son resigns after allegedly sending this photo to a woman he contacted via Craigslist. If he were your husband, would you forgive him? Dr. Phil McGraw is here. From pageant dads to teen girls bullied by their boyfriends. My boyfriend shoved me against the car when I didn't do what he wanted. We're about to have the straight talk with one of the toughest guys on TV. Plus, I love Dr. Phil. <laughs> As in sexy. Why is that funny? Will Sharon be able to control herself once she comes face to face with her secret crush? Dr. Ozzy. <laughs> Let's start talking. says that making gradual changes in your food choices can dramatically change your life. Her latest book is called Veganist. Lose weight, get healthy, change the world. Please welcome best-selling author Kathy Freston. Hi, Kathy. Welcome. All right. What is a veganist? A veganist is someone who considers what they eat and decides to eat a plant-based diet. So that means nothing from an animal. No meat, no chicken, no cheese, no eggs or fish. And the reason is because you want to eat consciously. So you want to think about eating healthy foods. It's going to be good for your body, preventing and re reversing diseases, keeping the weight off, and being kind to animals. So just really thinking about your food choices. And you weren't always a vegan, right? So how did you make that transition? I grew up in the South. We, we ate chicken fried steak and cheesy grits and vanilla <laughs> milkshakes. And I know, it sounds good. But I, I started finding out what was happening to animals behind closed doors. And I thought, I want to be someone who doesn't eat anything from an animal. But it was such a drastic change for me. So I thought, I'm just going to point myself in the direction and I'm going to lean into it gradually. So I gave up eating one animal at a time, and I would replace those meals with vegan meals instead. And it was sort of a gradual process. What are the health benefits? You lose weight very easily because plant food is full of fiber, no fat, no saturated fat, or very low fat. So it's sort of naturally the weight comes off, and you, you, it amps up your p metabolism. So because you're not going to have that same issue with overweight and obesity, you're not going to have the same heart disease. Uh, you have lower rates of uh, uh, heart disease, cancer, type 2 diabetes, lower blood pressure, all kinds of amazing health benefits, and it happens very easily. And energy? Oh my God, energy coming out of you know every pore of your body. It's incredible. There's a sense of lightness that happens. I'm sure you know when you're not eating all that heavy saturated fat, when you're eating foods that come from trees or from the ground, what our bodies are made for, you just feel so energetic. You feel really clear. So yeah. it's, it's been good all around. And I saw in your book, you said vegetarians lived on average yeah. of 10 years longer, which yeah. I thought was pretty amazing. Yeah. It's pre well, because because you're preventing all these diseases like heart disease and certain types of cancer and type 2 diabetes so you you naturally live longer and not only do you live longer but you live better yeah now what are three things people can do to get started well I always say take it easy so the first thing is to educate yourself and that gets you really engaged and excited so read books about the effects of you know a vegan diet on your health my book veganist has a lot of great information about preventing and reverses reversing diseases and also see what goes on behind closed doors in factory farms and that'll make you feel really good about moving away from eating animal protein so google the, these three words factory farm video and you'll see really what happens behind closed doors the second thing is explore just go to the grocery store or health food store and see what's out there and just take a little extra time you know kind of figuring out some new food choices and menu items and just you know get to know um, the different choices a little bit better and then the third thing is to veganize what you already eat so whatever you're used to eating in your family's menus during the week if it's spaghetti and meatballs just sort of veganize your favorite meals so have instead of uh, spaghetti with meat sauce has spaghetti with meatless meat crumbles and you can get that in your grocer freezer or crumbled tofu and put it in the tomato sauce 
And so you just take those meals that you're used to eating and you veganize them. What's your advice to moms who want to get um, their children and their husbands on board? Lie. <laughs> <laughs> Truth them, right? Yeah, don't tell them. Because that'll set up a wall and they'll say, no, I don't want to try it. So if you just take their favorite meals, like, um, like make your own pizza night, for instance, and you have your pizza crust and you have your um, tomato sauce and you have dairyless cheese, you know, non-dairy cheese, and you have vegan sausage and you have mushrooms, they won't even know that it's vegan because it looks the same as what they're used to, but it's different, you know? And so if you have tacos or burritos and you put in uh, beans and guacamole instead of the regular uh, ground beef, they won't even know. They'll get used to it and they'll love it. You brought a couple of dishes here that are vegan. Tell us what they are. Well, this, for instance, is a traditional American meal that I grew up with, you know, chicken, mashed potatoes, and green beans. But you know what? There's nothing from an animal on that plate. So that, uh, the chicken is, is, is called something uh, gardein, which is a vegetarian protein. It's made from all kinds of really high quality veggie proteins. So it's got no cholesterol, no saturated fat, and very high protein. And I make the mashed potatoes with um, soy milk or almond milk and earth balanced butter so it has no dairy in it. Saute up the beans the exact same way and it tastes exactly what I'm used to. In the final 20 seconds, just tell us what these two are. Well, this is uh, just an, a delicious pasta, pasta mm -hmm. and I put some meatless meat uh, sausage in there, so it's mm -hmm. vegan sausage. It's really delicious, and it, you know, my husband doesn't know what it is. And make your oatmeal in the morning. Instead of using regular milk, just use non-dairy milk like rice milk or almond milk, and it's I really love good. It. Well, you could read more of Kathy's tips on our website, thetalk.com. Kathy's book, Veganus, is in stores now. Kathy Freston, thank you so much. Thanks for coming on. We'll be right back.